So why does couture still matter? For a long time, couture was all that mattered in fashion. And then there was a long period when people said, couture is simply a way of selling perfume and lipstick. These are clothes that are seen on the runway, the most expensive clothes in the world, but nobody is ever actually going to buy them and wear them. But what I've seen in the three and a half years since I've been editor of Harper's Bazaar is a real revival in the couture market. When I use the word revival, what I mean is people are buying these clothes. What does this tell us? Well, there are some very, very, very rich people in the world who want to buy and wear the most beautiful, handcrafted, individual clothes in the world. So we're seeing these great waves of new wealth from China, from the Middle East, Russia, and also the emerging markets, Africa, places like Nigeria, India. And what's interesting for an observer like me when I go to Paris for the couture shows is that you see those buyers very discreetly, but they are buying these clothes in such quantities that a brand like Valentino, which by the way is owned by the Qataris, has doubled its number of couture ateliers. So I would say that while couture is booming, it's a sign that the world of the ultra high net worth individuals is going very well indeed. If we see a slump in couture, then watch out, there's going to be a downturn. If that were to happen, couture would still matter because couture is still the way of selling a dream. It's still the way of extending brand fame. And in a recession, people might see the footage of a couture show, the pictures of a couture show, and think, well, I'm still gonna buy that Chanel number no. five or that Dior lipstick because I still want to buy a little bit of that dream. <laughs>